to Lisa Marvin Art. Get your sunnies out. We are gonna go full neon, uh, just for funsies, cause you know spring's coming, things are brightening up. I'm not a big neon person. I don't know if you've noticed, um, but sometimes I do love the bright things that happen. So I'm not even gonna. Sh no, I'm not even sure what's gonna happen. But we'll see. So we have golden diorite yellow and golden teal. And the rest we are using TLP, Hustle, Funk, and Rave. And we'll see what happens. I might add, there's no sparklies, which is so rare. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna use my Payne's Gray Shelly Art Cell Activator, which is Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam Payne's Gray. I don't measure, usually about three to one. This pillow is Glid and Essentials eggshell, which I like, and this is a 10 inch round. So let's get to just like blowing. I really like the look of what happens when you put a pink over a yellow. So hopefully we'll get something that looks decent. Um, let's put this down and I hope you guys can hear me. I, my last, uh, a few videos ago, I didn't realize there was paint on my phone. So now I've plugged in earbuds to my phone. Hopefully you guys can hear me better. Let's get this pink down. So bright. I don't even know oops, if my camera can capture the situation of how bright this is. Now, what am I gonna do? Why don't I do teal? Just a bit, she takes over a bit, you know? Okay, this is like full 80s explosion. I'm really enjoying it. Now, do I want a blue on top or I'm gonna do purple on top. So we'll do a bit of this rave. D, 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 D. All right. And then we will do this funk. Like there's a little bloop I saw. I don't want to get a bloops in there. You know how I feel about bloops. Okay, what do you guys think is going to happen? Is it going to be muddy? Is it going to be like bright and delicious? I don't know. Okay. Let us blow. Let me get her back in the center. Okay, I have my cell activator here, mixy mixy. If you guys really want to learn how to bloom, I suggest taking the Shelly Art class. I have a 15% off in my description. It's just worth it instead of wasting your time. You have a great Facebook group that it comes with, lots of help, and really cheap if you ask me. Okay, here we go. Really cool color combo, I have to say. Some pleat pieces I could have blown out better, to be honest, but. I love the like sunset situation that happens with the yellow and the pink. All right. Um, okay, let me just move my paints and we will spin her out and see if this was a good blow. I'm not certain it was a great blow yet. We'll see in a minute. If you like bright colors, this one's definitely for you. Do you know what? Even though I put a lot of paint down, I'm wondering if I should 
put more paint? No, I did put a lot of paint. I don't know. Maybe it was just my blow. But you see the um, really loving the yellow and the pink there? I think I need to do a better blow. Uh, it is pretty neat. You know what? Next time I'm going to blow better. <laughs> That's my only problem, I think. I could be hard, be hard on myself. There's just, wow, this is like really insane color. Uh, I hope you guys wouldn't get mad at me if I trashed this one and did a better job, you know? Um, like it's not horrible, but it's not super uniform. And that's when you're doing like a 10 inch round, it is harder to get like a more uniform look. Um, but it looks kind of like stained glass. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to trash this in case you guys get mad at me because you guys get mad at me so much. Um, just joking, but I will do another one and we'll see if I can get the desired look I'm looking for. Um, I'll do a close up of this. And then we will move on. And I guarantee if I grab a smaller, because this is 10 inch, if I grab like a little eight inch, I would definitely get my desired look more. But that's kind of cheating. You know what I mean? I don't want to cheat. I don't hate this. I just want better. I want it to look better. But let me know what you think. And then I'm going to grab, I might cheat and grab an eight inch. And then, you, yes, maybe I will cheat and grab an eight inch and you guys will see the difference that I'm talking about, unless I screw that one up too. All right, stick around. Okay, here's my little eight inch. And you know what would be like a fun actual experiment is if I kind of work backwards and do a six inch after this, and you'll really get to see the different looks of, oh shit, I just spilled. I mean, excuse my French. <laughs> um, you'll get to see what happens when you use different sizes and to achieve the different looks you're going for. Definitely smaller is easier. We all know that with the bloom. Uh, so, but some of you don't want to do small and that's okay, but there's just certain th things that aren't going to happen on a bigger piece. Okay. Let's do the same. Do I even remember what I did? Not really. Okay, I know I started with yellow. Okay. Then I'll do pink. <laughs> Watch me just do like a really ugly job and I'll have to do this like 10 times. But I am going to do it. I'm not quitting. Um, what did I do? Oh, yeah, I did teal. And then I did rave and then funk, right? Let's hope that I kind of prove my point that you get different looks with different sizes and it can be easier to go smaller. I will say the first time I did an eight inch, like a few years ago, I was literally sweating. It was my hardest um, transition from four inch to eight inch. I can't believe like I was like literally sweating that I had to cover this whole size. So you just have to practice, you know what I mean? Eight inch can be hard when you're moving up from a four inch. Okay, ready? <clears throat> great blow either not gonna lie but let's let that sink right give it a minute this is a big black situation 
there's some cool peacock cells happening. But again, hmm, I'm not loving this blow. Like the cells are kind of wonky. Maybe should I thin my cell activator a bit? Normally I like it thick, but maybe it's like a touch too thick. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. All right. Because like this is, there's a big black thing I don't like there. And that's not going to prove my point that it's easier to go smaller, is it? Because that's ugly. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep spinning, but I feel like I'm going to trash this. I don't like this blow, and I think I'm going to thin out my cell activator, like, just a touch with a bit more Floatrol. Really cool looking cells, though, peacock cells. I just don't like this big black. This is going to be, like, the longest video of all time. But I hope you guys agree, like, this is a far from perfect blow. Um, you know? No, I don't want to leave you with a far from perfect blow. But, God, these cells are cool. But I wouldn't be happy with this as a final result. So, while that's spinning out, I'm just going to put a bit more of my Aussie Flow in there. Yeah, don't love it. Just a touch. And you can get Aussie Flow from fluid-art.co where you get your piggies as well. All right. Yeah. And do you know what? My paints could be a touch. Everything could be a touch thick today because it's cold in my basement. They've been sitting out a bit. And as they sit out, they thicken. Okay, I've thinned that a touch. Yeah. So, let me make sure I like my consistencies. They're okay, they're a touch thick, but you know what? Say goodbye to this one. Bye, don't like you. We're gonna blow better. And this is also important to know, is some days you're not gonna get perfect stuff, and that's okay. Because I say it's only wasted paint. Now I'm gonna check my consistencies for each one. This, see it's starting to loop up. That could be a problem. So to fix that, I add a dash of Josonia. Now, this is important because as you're, as you're painting, depending on the weather, your paints can thicken or thin. Um, and you have to, see that's better already. You have to be aware of your consistencies as you are painting. <laughs> Watch, I do all of this adjusting and it still looks ugly. Just pretend for me, okay? How's this one? This one's like a touch thick, but yeah, why don't I do that? Just thin it out anyways. And there's some colors that thicken up faster than others, like opaque colors. Like I'm curious to see what that teal is going to look like because uh, that thickens up quite fast. Let's see. How's the Mr. Tealy? See? He's pretty, he got pretty thick, right? So we're gonna thin her down. It's not ideal to have to mix and create so many air bubbles as you're painting, but I feel she's better. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Okay. Get her in the middle. Uh, rave. How's Ravy? He's like a little thick, but he's okay. I'll just drizzle him. Okay. And Miss Funk, she's like a little thicky thick, but I'll drizzle her too. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Okay, let's see if that thinning everything made a difference, you know? I hope so. Okay, I got my thinned out Floatrol. Looks a little better.
So she did blow out a bit better. You can see there's less pillow paint coming up because uh, if you have thicker paints, it kind of drags the pillow paint because it's heavier. So definitely better cell coverage. Um, definitely getting my shirt in paint. So it definitely looks better. Still not like perfect for me, but I hope you guys can see the difference um, of what happens when you adjust like slightly as you're going. Still kind of weird cell shapes. That's just because I didn't blow the middle out perfectly, but who can be perfect, right? Let's hope this one looks nice. And then I will, for funsies, I think I have a little six incher. So we'll see. Um, cool spots here and there. I don't know if I'm gaga over it, but I will let her be and we will do a six inch and hopefully I can master a six inch today, right? Let's see. I think, how much more do we have to spin? I think we're pretty good. I'll give her one more spin and then um, we will compare a 10, an eight, and a six of this. I mean, it's not horrible, um, but you know, kind of wonkalicious. Stick around. Okay, so I got my six inch tile here. I didn't have a six inch canvas or anything. Uh, I just have these like tester tiles, which you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. A lot of people use them for trivets. I don't do trivets or coasters anymore. I find them too uh, kind of finicky. Not my style. I mean, they're gorgeous and I love them if you have the patience for them. I don't have that much patience. Um, I'm only going to put a little bit of the teal. So it will be interesting to see if the size, I, I definitely will get better coverage and it will depend of course on my blow and um, stuff like that. But I hope I can demonstrate the difference of sizes of what things look at different sizes, right? Okay, mixy mix. Mixy mix. That was a crazy blow. Oh my God. My blow ain't great today because I wasn't aiming very well. What's going on here, right? Like this is kind of yep. Uh, hmm. I guess we'll see, but not really impressed. I'm gonna let the um, saw activator sink for a minute. But yeah, I guess I'm not having some blow luck today, but it'll be interesting to see anyways, the difference in sizes. Let's tilt her a bit this way. Yeah, I mean, whatever, right? 
not like spectacular. But it's okay. I mean, it's a good example of how <clears throat> you can get coverage all the way to the edges on a six incher. Um, some cool spots for sure. I don't know, maybe am I just like not a neon person or is this not like floating my boat? You know what I mean? I don't know, is this floating your boat? I mean, listen, there's really cool areas. Like I, like I said, I really love that. The orange that happens with the pink and the yellow. Um, I don't know. Definitely will need your opinion on this one. Um, you know? So let's, I'm, I'm gonna bring you, I'm gonna show you a close up of this and then um, we'll do a close, close up of all three sizes and you can kind of see the different looks of the different sizes. I don't know if I'm gonna do a 12 inch, to be honest. Um, I don't know, we'll see. But stick around for the close up. Thanks for joining, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think, It only if you liked it. Tell me if you didn't like it either. Tell me if it's just me or if it's not your jam. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.